Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, I am Pretty Tough, and welcome to the CSGO Org Assault Rifle Mastery Guide and Tutorial. In this video, I'll be going over the stats, both basic and in-depth, the spread, recoil control, damage, and more. So be sure to watch the end of the video, because you will come to understand the weapons of CSGO more than your opponents will, which will give you an edge. And I know it does, because it's done the same for me making these videos. And so without further ado, let's get into it. The AUG is the scoped counterpart to the SG-553, which I covered in the previous video and the most expensive rifle available to the CT side. It is also the only rifle that the CTs have access to which they can use a scope on, with the exceptions of the sniper rifles since they are a different class. In reality, the AUG means Army Universal Gewehr, the Universal Army Rifle, and is manufactured by Austrian arms manufacturer Steyr Daimler Push. It fires the standard NATO 5.56x45mm round and carries a magazine capacity of 30 rounds. It has been adopted by several paramilitary services around the world, including the Australian Army, the Irish Army, Austrian military branches and the New Zealand military. And I believe the version we use in the game is a slightly older Org A2, since the original A1 doesn't match the scope we use in game, and A3 doesn't feature the longer barrel that we see in the game. And so the A2 is the version that I believe we use. In CS, the AUG costs $3,300 and is $300 more expensive than the SG-553, so terrorists will most likely have access to a scoped weapon before the CTs will. You get $300 per killing competitive and $150 per killing casual. It has a base damage of 28, which is the lowest in class, and a base rate of fire of 600 rounds per minute, giving it the same rate of fire as the AK-47 and the M4A1S. It also has a damage per second of 311, also making it the lowest damage per second in class, and one of the only uh, weapons to feature the ability to aim down the sights. It is sought after for being a very reputable weapon in combat. It has an armor penetration rating of 90%, making it the second best penetration rating in class, losing out to the SG-553's 100% penetration rating. It's also able to penetrate two walls, much like every other weapon in game, and also has a movement speed of 220 units per second, making it the second lightest assault rifle in class, and also giving it a speed comparable to the Nova shotgun. When it comes to reloading and deploying, times are as follows. To deploy the weapon from swapping, it takes 1.17 seconds, making it the slowest weapon deployment time in class, mainly because the player has to cock the weapon when it's deploying each and every time. It takes 1.53 seconds to insert a new magazine, giving it the slowest magazine insertion in class, and it has a ready fire delay of 3.77 seconds, also making it the slowest weapon in class again. When you reload the weapon and make it ready to fire again, you'll notice the difference, so be sure to stay in cover for a brief moment after reloading before popping out to shoot your enemy, because it will catch you out, believe me. The Orc deals 28 base damage as standard, and with its penetration rating of 90%, the damage decline shouldn't be too great. Against opponents with no armor, the AUG deals 112 damage to the head, which is an insta-kill, 28 damage to the chest and arms, 35 to the stomach, and 21 damage to the legs. Against armored opponents, it deals 100 damage to the head, 25 damage to the chest and arms, 31 to the stomach, and 21 to the legs. With stats like this, the damage is decent enough for it to be a lethal weapon, albeit not as powerful as some others, but it's still a very useful weapon when paired with a competitive player. The AUG has the same damage to range modifier as a lot of weapons, 0.98%, which means that as distance increases, the damage drop off shouldn't be too drastic. It already has one of the lowest base damages of any weapon in class, and so it shouldn't really get any worse. At 500 units, the AUG loses 2% of its base damage, which isn't too bad. At point blank range, the AUG deals 28 damage. Against opponents with no armor, it loses 0.12 damage per 100 units from point blank to 500 units. From 600 units to 1500 units, it loses 0.11 damage per 100 units. And from 1600 units to 3000 units, it loses 0.10 damage per 100 units. So it starts off dealing 27.89 damage and ends up at 3000 units at 24.80. So it has only lost 3.9 damage across the board, which is a good, slim and steady decline. Versus armoured opponents, the AUG deals 25.10 damage at the start and declines by 0.10 damage from point blank to 1100 units, and after 1100 units it loses 0.09 damage up to 1500 units. From 1500 units to 3000 units it declines by 0.09 damage also, and so the decline is even steadier and the damage loss is as so. It starts off at 25.10 damage and ends up at 22.32 damage. So it has an overall loss of 2.78. So the loss is even less than being against unarmored opponents. When it comes to TTK, without taking headshots into account and versing armor, the AUG will kill an enemy with four rounds from point blank to 100 units. And from 200 units all the way to 3000 units, the AUG becomes a five shot kill across the board. The AUG has a relatively simple spray pattern. 
The shape goes by the way of an inverted L. When firing the weapon uncontrolled, the first to 15th round of the spray climbs up along the vertical axis. And then when it reaches the peak at the 16th round, the spray goes to the right slightly until the 25th round, and then it creeps back towards the center axis like so. To control the weapon, imagine the letter L. Now swap the tail to the left side instead of the right. When you fire, drag down until you fired the 15th round, and then move the mouse to the left until the 24th to 25th round has been fired, and then move the mouse back towards the center line of where you first moved it from, so back to where it came from. When you ADS with the org, the recoil is halved, much like the SG-553, so you'll only have to move the mouse half of what you do as when you were not controlling it. With the AUG's low damage and minimal output versus range, as explained in the previous section, you can see that the recoil pattern redeems it, but it also makes it great for getting headshots because it's nice and accurate. I think the pros and cons of the org are quite easy to see, it literally hides nothing from us. On the pro side it has an easy recoil pattern and is accurate, it has the second best armour penetration rating in class, it has a steady range versus damage drop off against other weapons which are more drastic. On the con side it has a slow reload and deployment time, it has a long tangible ready fire delay which you will notice when you are playing in matches, and it has a low damage output and the lowest damage per second. In conclusion, the AUG is the pinnacle assault rifle available to the CT side. It's expensive, but when you go for round for round destroying terrorists and draining their economy, the only weapon that will really put you in danger is the AK. It's often picked up by T players when dropped, so if you find yourself against overwhelming odds and you have an org, hide it. Do not let the enemies get their hands on one, because its price makes it a heavy hitter to your economy when you lose it. It is, however, a solid choice for players who are familiar with other shooters when they first start CSGO. And when I first started playing CSGO, I would commonly use the AUG because I could ADS. And then I moved on to other weapons. And all of this, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of the video. I have tried to cover all the bases in the video to help paint a picture of this weapon for you so you can master it. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe to the channel for more guiding videos like this. And be sure to join us next time where we learn all there is to know about the only silenced assault rifle in game and the final assault rifle in this series the M4A1S. So take care, see you next time, and peace.